drop this bell. Hi, welcome everybody. Today I'm going to talk about some of my techniques that I've learned while drawing. Okay, this is the basically the stuff that I use, the equipment that I use to draw with. But I don't use all of them when doing a project. Well, here I have, you have my eraser, just a simple eraser, my kneaded eraser, my uh, pen eraser with a stump with a thick point. Uh, we have an uh, electric eraser right here. As you can see, it has a button, it's from Durant. I purchased this one from Amazon. Then you have my pencil eraser right here. As you can see, it's in a pen form and you have a brush on the back. Okay, then you have all my uh, mechanical pencils that uh, in I have them in all sizes, but I don't use all of them. Maybe f some points I use for detailing, like the middle one. But I'm, I'll make another video. Here you have a brush. I got this from my girlfriend. She uses it. She did uses this for her makeup. I have uh, charcoal. I have my other 6B. This is my 6B pencil. Then we have my um, 8B pencil and my 4H pencil. Okay, now you have my colored pencil. I have six of them, arranged six of them here. Um, as you can see, they're all different brands, but I'll go over that later on in the video. I have some other stuff right here, like some pastels, oil pastels. The brand is Panda. I'll show you them later in the video. This is basically what I normally use for my projects. Okay, so let's go on, on to the video. I'm gonna show you how to blend. That's the purpose of this video. I'm gonna show you how to blend with just these simple bargain uh, pencils. You don't have to use you don't have to use the Prismacolor or Faber Castell because I know they're expensive. So now I found a way to use to get the exact same um, quality, the exact quality that you get from the Prismacolor and Faber Castell using these brandless or not so popular brands okay as you can see this one has no brand name at all so I'll start by making a circle and then color it in it's not that accurate of a circle but yeah I'm gonna speed it up for you guys Alright, this one is the mate. I'm gonna speed it up also. The next one that I'm gonna use is the, the Stettler. This one is the Brain Sail. Karioka and as last we have the Fosca some of you may wonder why I use the red color that's just because I love red so just so you know <laughs> Okay, I'm using my brush, clean it up a bit. So now we're gonna use the Penda Oil Pencil. And I'm gonna use them to blend the normal pencils in. So I'm gonna make some a few circles and then um yeah, color it in. I'm gonna speed it up for you guys. So now that that's done. I'm going to blend it with just my eraser. 
as you can see I'm just using my simple old eraser I also have a pencil eraser but that's for my detailing let's speed it up again Don't mind the circles, I'm, I'm just doing it for the video. Oh, another thing, if you see the tip is red or you have some kind of color, don't forget to remove it because it may spoil your other projects you're working on. So don't forget, just take your eraser and erase on a, on a hard surface to remove it. So if everything is removed, you get a nice clean eraser ready for use again now we're gonna use the same er the same pencils that I used on the top of these circles and blend them in I'm coloring it in but you have a different blend you don't see the green the white grainy look on the paper so basically I'm just using the same technique like coloring like I did when coloring the circles above And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna speed it up for you guys. And I'm going to use the same pencils that I used above on the circles on the bottom. The top one and the bottom one, they have a different color. But let's say you want the same color, just use your white panda pencil, your white panda pencil, and then do the same technique that I did with the red ones. The middle the middle row then use the eraser blend it a bit and then take the same pencil the same Stettler pencil and then I'm just coloring it in as you can see it's the same pencil but with a different color And again, it's blending very nice. Okay, just to show you guys uh, a big, a uh, better difference between with with the oil pastels and without. I'm gonna color over uh, the, the the surface that I use the oil pastels. So as you can see you see a huge difference and you have where I you see the huge difference where I colored with the oil the white oil pastel and where I did not so another thing that I want to talk about is that you can use your sim just just a simple pencil I'm using my 4 inch pencil pencil to shade if you want to have a darker red all right I'm I'm gonna do this to the other circle as well, but I'm gonna speed it up. Okay, and that's that. Let, let's say you wanna use another color and blend on top of, and you wanna blend it on top of the the, the middle row where I use the, the red. I'm gonna show you the red, uh, the yellow I mean. And I'm gonna blend it in, in the red circle. You may not see a real huge difference, maybe because it's in the video, but believe me, you'll see it. Okay, that's blending the yellow in the red. I also have my white pastel here. You can use the other white oil pastel as well, but I'm going to use this one. Let's clean up the tip a bit because it's I forgot to clean it up when I finished my last project. So there you have a little white highlight. Let me show you on this circle because it's a bit bigger. So I'll use my eraser again to blend it in. And 
another thing that I want to show you guys is that if you don't like the highlight just use the same color that you use to make the circle to fill it in and then color it with your pencil with your colored pencil I mean I'm gonna make some shadow highlights with my 4B mechanical pencil. This is just the Stettler pencil. I bought it from Amazon but I'll make another video where I talk about my equipment. Don't forget guys if there's something unclear just comment down below. I'll be more than happy to comment back. To blend it in, you just use the same color pencil and blend and color over the place you put the shadows. Now I'm gonna put some more highlights and there you have it circle with shadows and highlights okay just as I said before I'm going I'm going to show you guys the pencils that I make the circles with on the, the top row on the top row I'm gonna make the same circles on the bottom so you have a better view So these are the two pesos that I use for this video. You have the red panda and the white panda. I also have these two. You already saw the white one. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And I hope you liked it. Please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time. Ciao.